11, streaming on CBSN Bay Area. We have breaking news in San Francisco where protesters have pulled down several controversial statues within the last couple of hours. Good evening. I'm Ken Bass Stevens. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. Let's get right to Betty Yu live at Golden Gate Park to show us what happened. Betty? Liz, when we arrived here to Golden Gate Park after the sun went down, we saw a heavy police presence, and my photographer and I saw several people dressed in all black running around this area. They scattered shortly after uh, we arrived, but take a look at what's left. This is the statue of Junipero Serra. On its side, you can see at the base the words stolen land. Now, a lot of this activity was captured hours before on social media. The statue of Sarah was toppled and there was a loud applause. There were cheers coming from the crowd. Now, he is a Spanish priest who was controversial among Native Americans and his mission system was blamed for destroying several tribes. Now we saw a very similar reaction also captured on social media with Francis Scott Key's statue coming down. Now he was best known for writing the lyrics to the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. If you look at his statue, the words slave owner with a giant X were sprayed on the base of his statue and the phrase, stolen land, stolen people, and you can hear the loud cheers from the crowd there. Now, when we arrived, the first statue that we came across was Ulysses Grant. It was toppled. It was lying in the pathway here at Golden Gate Park. And there was also a lot of anti-police graffiti, uh, profanity, and acronyms found on the base of that statue. So just within uh, several yards here, we are still among statues lying on their sides, uh, defaced, and a lot of this activity captured here on social media. But at this hour, uh, there are no demonstrators or people around. Live in San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.